call me Mitchell, and this is your energy forecast and intuitive message for today, Tuesday, February the 16th of 2016. And as always, thank you for doing what you do. I appreciate it. So continuing Dick Sutphin's Critical 15, we're on number nine today. It's all about fear. I talk a lot about fear. I'm working through fear. I think we all have fear. I think there's either love or fear, and fear is one of the things that holds us back from our growth and evolution. So, the critical 15, fear works against your spiritual evolution and can paralyze you and keep you from obtaining the growth that you desire, that you deserve, that you that I believe you came into this world with a contract to fulfill and to do. So, uh, let's work to eradicate any and all fear. And, you know, it's okay to still feel the fear moments of fear but moving forward through it is the courage part of it so you know you know i think every day we deal with fear and and fear is often you know our expectations not being met or just having expectations about some event and then they don't they don't come to fruition you know so work on removing those fear blocks and taking your spiritual growth and evolution forward a level so you don't have to do it again or, you know, get it done now so you can move on to the next thing. I think once you get one block out, there's another block. I will say this. I do believe, you know, that the, I don't want to say the blocks get easier, but I believe we become more skilled at removing them. So there's a tweetable. You become more skilled at moving your blocks of fear when you are continually identifying them and courageously moving forward past them. There you go. Somebody tweet that out. Tag me. All right. Let's dive into some cards and some numbers for today. And if you didn't get all that, just rewind because <laughs> I didn't have time to write it down. I was just channeling it. <laughs> so today is number 16. 16 adds up. One plus six is seven. Seven is very metaphysical, mystical, spiritual, research, um, uh, analytical, you know, technological, science-based. And then all the numbers for today add up to number nine. So it's a nine day and a nine year. So transition completions, you know, ending, uh, vision, tolerance, transformation. I love that word for number nine. Uh, it's also the, the number of perfection because it's like, boom, boom, you have arrived because you go back to one. Uh, so the card from Lenormand for today is going to be the cross, which is 36, which adds up to nine. And the cross is the final card in the Lenormand deck. The cross can be all about burdens, things you have to bear, pain, suffering, misfortune. You know, it, this is kind of like what comes when you have fear. <laughs> you know, I always think of, you know, climb up on the cross, get it over with. You know, be courageous, you know, crucify the things that are holding you back. And then terror to go along with it is going to be the four of coins. So this shows me there may be money fear, money burdens, money suffering, money misfortune. Maybe you're holding on to it too tightly with this guy, this four of coins energy. You know, he's got a bundle of money, but he's not allowing it to flow through his fingers in a good way, like a river flows, like bringing new life constantly in. You know, I'm hoarding it. I'm holding on to it. You know, I, I know I look at because I have a, a, a condo and a property manager. So every month I get that rent and every once in a while it's not on time. Or it's a little late or they deposit it. And it takes a while to come in. But the funny thing is, is when I know I'm looking for it and my my mortgage is due. I take the I, it's like I take the leap of faith and I say, you know what? I've got this money. I'll put it into that. I'll pay my mortgage. And usually within a day or two. Boom, the money comes in from my renter. And that's the flow. That's the flow. So I'm taught over and over again. Because there's one of my places of fear. And I've learned. I've learned. I fear that if I take this money from this part of my bank account and, and pay off my mortgage for the condo that someone's renting, that they're not going to do it. Then what do I do? Next month, I, don't, I have less. But they always come through and it always happens at the right time when I allow the flow of the money and the abundance to come. So tomorrow... 17th day. 17 adds up to what? Number eight. Eight is all about self-mastery, business, success. You know, it's, it's, it's the money number. Um, it's power. It's authority. I think it's in, uh, it's, I think it's China. But like number eight is like boom, the power number. My oldest brother, every one of his children were born on an eighth day, a different month, February, May, August. 
and August is 8-8. Eight, eight. Our entire family business was number eight. And then all the numbers for tomorrow add up to number one, which, boom, we're back to beginning. Starts masculine, independent leadership. Um, let's see what Lenormand has to say. Five, which is the tree, which is often about our health, our dimensions of wellness. I use five dimensions, which I love that the number five is here. Spiritual, physical, intellectual, emotional, and social wellness. Tara, to go along with that tree and health, ah, successful day. So this is, if you if you kind of get over and move beyond that cross and fear, holding on to the money, and the money can also, the coins can also be the body and family and your abilities, the health will become better because the six of wands is about celebration, is about success, is about victory. You know, so anything you've been working on, this may be, you know, a great time tomorrow to one, start because it's in one day, start a diet, start something to do with your health and wellness, um, you know, spiritual, physical, intellectual, emotional, or social, because it will be a victory, victorious start. So there you have it. As always, check out my website, if you feel led, intuitivemitchell.com. I've tweeted out these six um, kind of love Valentine's specials that are out there, 30% uh, off. Um, those are up on my website and tweeted out. I'll redo those if I need to. And what else? Um, tonight, The Gab with Sherry Elise and I at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I know I'll be talking about, you know, relationships and living with somebody. That's the thing I'm going to be talking about. I'm not sure what her topic will be, but we're also going to debrief on what's been going on in our life for the last two weeks. And then Cosmic Caffeine Reunion Show, Sunday, March 6, 7 p.m. There will be video. It's because we're doing it on the same platform that I do the gab on. All right. Have a good day. Namaste. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.